Hey, I'm Marie Poulin, and this week I have a quick video for you that is showing you a new page that I've started in my workspace, which is the weekend dashboard. So let's jump in. So if you've followed any of my other work, you probably know that I'm pretty adamant about having a master task database. Now, my husband and I, we share our workspace, and so all of our tasks, professionally and personally, were all inside of our workspace in a master task database. But what we noticed over time was that our work tasks and our life household tasks were really taking place in different contexts. So most of our household tasks and things that we were doing around the house, um, updating our list of things to buy, things to clean around the house, all that was really happening on the weekend. And so rather having rather than having that stuff get mixed up in our day-to-day uh, -day kind of working professional workspace, we decided to separate this out into a weekend dashboard. So as you'll see here, what I've done now is household tasks is its own master task database, if you will, that has all of the uh, gardening tasks and household tasks, things to do around the house. Uh, again, really, we were doing this stuff on the weekend anyway, so it kind of made sense to give it its own area. And again, this is something that happens the more that you use Notion, the more that you realize uh, where there's friction points and where there's room to improve it. So again, we used to do all of this in one space, and it just started to, um, it felt like we weren't really making the best use of it. So this is one way that we adapted our space. So you can see here, there's weekend, meal planning, miscellaneous household, and garden. And here we have household tasks and house projects. So similarly, we used to have our house projects mixed in with all of our other, it was like business and life was all together in our projects database. But we noticed that the properties that we needed to track, the budgets for the different projects, the properties were really different than the stuff that we're tracking at a professional level. So these house projects are actually a lot simpler. So if I add a new project here, and just open this up, you can see a budget low, budget high, budget actual. There's an inspiration database that again is specific to house ideas, target date, priority, linking it to an area and next steps owner, size, status. So it's a lot, it's actually a lot simpler and there's much fewer templates than there were in our master task database. And this is a lot more functional for us. And it also becomes the space that can inspire us. So weekend mornings, one of us will have the laptop open, we'll have Notion open, and the other is making breakfast and coffee and we'll chat through, okay, what is it that we need to get done? And actually this is the household uh, dashboard, but really the weekend is, is where most of the stuff gets done. So I'm gonna jump into this page so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So yay weekend, what would make this weekend awesome? And so we just start off asking what small things can we do that would make this weekend great and make the house nicer. And so we put these here. Um, one thing that we started doing was saying, uh, cleaning the house or preparing meals, but we realized that cleaning the house isn't what makes the weekend awesome. Um, having a clean house by the end of the weekend is something that makes uh, the weekend awesome. So trying to word those things in terms of what are the outcomes that we would wanna have by the end of the weekend. Uh, and then we've got our household tasks, which again live in, in the household, but we're just pulling them again here into the weekend dashboard. And I've got up next here and completed today. So as soon as one of these is done, let's say new weekend task, and we've got a very simple template for household task and a template for water the plants, or again, it's just a gardening, um, garden related task. So if I click on household task, I can connect that to a project if I want, add a date, what have you. And so if I click this is done, that automatically moves into our completed today. And then we've just got a very quick buy things to purchase database as well. So again, one of us is making coffee, one of us is here just filling this out and we can say, oh yeah, we need ketchup or whatever it is. And the other can just very quickly add this stuff to the list. I also have embedded in here our groceries as well. Um, so these are things that we need now and I can just switch this into master and just go through and click whatever we need. And those are gonna show up in the need now. And again, the groceries and the buy list are things that we can favorite on our phone. So it's super easy to access those when we're out and about and in the grocery store. I probably gave myself away with a Canadian accent there, didn't I? 
Uh, garden tasks again here. This is pulled in. Um, this is actually a duplicate of what is in my gardening dashboard. So I can either go uh, jump in at the garden level too when I'm ready to do gardening activities, or I can also check some of these things off the list right here. And then just what projects can we tackle here? So we can do this by size. Um, I think we have this by priority, by size. Again, you can make whatever views are going to be most helpful for you. And then we've got the journal, um, what happened this weekend, and that will be filtered to the current weekend. Now, because I can't see Ben's journal, because that's private, um, he embeds his there. And um, so both of us will only see our own uh, databases. So it's a super simple database, but what's nice about it is that it, it kind of keeps us out of the computer in terms of uh, going down the rabbit hole of business tasks and things that are calling at us. So if we just open this up when we're on the weekend on the computer, um, it kind of keeps us out of work mode as much as possible. Um, and again, you can make this an inspiring space. You can change up your headers and do whatever you want, uh, but it kind of gets us on the same page and it's a chance for us to kind of talk about, okay, what are those things that have been kind of nagging at us and need to get done? And uh, just gives us a place to kind of unify it and get us both on the same page. You could have your budget stuff in here too. There's lots of other, you could add quick links to, um, like for example, if we do our bookkeeping every Saturday, I could actually link to that right from here. And that's something we usually do on Sundays, Sunday afternoon. So there's a quick link that I can go and jump into that. So that's how we're using our weekend dashboard. Super simple, but um, separating out our household tasks and household projects from our main workspace has actually been more helpful. So for a while it worked to kind of combine everything. Now we realize it makes sense to have those in their own separate databases. I did not worry about migrating old stuff that was kind of still in there. We just started fresh with this new household projects and household tasks. So I hope that's helpful. Hope that inspires you. And maybe you think about what you want to have on your weekend dashboard. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you want to see something specific, definitely add a comment below and let me know what you want me to cover next. And if you want to go way deeper into your business and life workflows, you can check out my online course, Notion Mastery. The link will be in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.